Hello everyone, today I wanted to show you how I set up my Remarkable home screen. I find that it is something that I have not seen within the Remarkable community, but just as a disclaimer, I could be wrong. When using a device like the Remarkable, I find it important that you organize it in such a way that it maximizes productivity while looking nice. Just like your desk setup or anything else, it helps to have a clean environment that is nice to be in while maintaining a good level of organization. The first thing that you might notice when entering my Remarkable home screen is that it doesn't necessarily maintain a super minimal look. This is because I wanted a unique home screen environment that would look nice. Something I like about the Remarkable is its lack of features which is apparent when first using the device. And while there are aren't too many features on the Remarkable that allows you to customize the home page, I found that the workaround for me was to simply convert some of the paintings that I like into a sort of art gallery for my home screen. Some people may think that this kind of setup is distracting, but in reality it is no more or less distracting than a wallpaper on your phone or desktop. I find this method of setting up my home screen to be something nice for me, but I would understand if it is not for everybody. That said, if anybody is interested as to how I set this up, I would be happy to make a tutorial in a separate video. At first glance, my folder section seems to be pretty cluttered and disorganized, but I have it this way for a reason. The folder mechanism on the Remarkable is certainly convenient, but having continuous embedded folders only serves to make the user experience much more difficult. Instead, I prefer to have as many folders as possible to be easily accessible, especially if I use them a lot. For example, you can see my school folder, but my sophomore year folder is not included within its contents. This is because I will have to make multiple folders for classes, which will make it much harder to access on a regular basis. Keeping your needs in mind when it comes to organizing your Remarkable is highly important, as this can greatly increase efficiency. The last thing I wanted to cover in this video is just how I organized a few of these folders. For example, my school folder. I organize each year into different semesters, except for the summer semester, which gets its own separate folder. Within these folders contains a folder for each class. While this folder sounds very complicated, and it certainly can be at times, there are other folders that are a lot more surface level. Each and every single one of these folders do not contain more folders as I find it unnecessary for most of them. This includes everything from my language learning folder to my piano folder. As you can see in my language learning and piano folders, I like to keep them more surface level, that way I'm not having to dig through files when I'm playing piano or learning Russian. I know that this video was really quick and my setup was a little bit unorthodox, but that said, I hope that you got some insight or inspiration for your setup. Thanks for watching.